Hi there, welcome back to the extended version of the reading for Taurus. The last thing I said was that um, some of you all are dealing with people in leadership and authority. Let's find out what the tone of those meetings will be for some of you who are going to be dealing whether with captains of industry or other people that were inclined. And let's find out more about the journey coming up for you as well. Okay, spirit, angels, guides, fairies, ancestors, I'm doing a reading for my dear Taurus. Thank you once again for joining me over in Patreon. I so appreciate your support, your love. Thank you for being a part of my soul family. Let's find out what spirit has to tell us here. Let's go deeper into the spiritual investigation and find out. There's nothing more important than um, wise advice or advanced information so that you're not flying blind you've got an aerial view you know what kind of trends to expect and how to conduct yourself accordingly why is this four card here what is the four okay what is the emperor energy coming in for my dear taurus in the month of december what is this about What is this about? Oh, it's quite a few. Yeah, I know I sound like I'm on a farm. We got someone's chickens flying over and doing their thing and little kids having a wild time playing with them. Okay, so with the Emperor Energy, I see that the truths coming out for you are very positive truths coming out for you. Um, more revelation, more direction coming in for you about the way you need to go. You're taking control of the situation and you're deciding which way you want to move forward. And Spirit is coming through with a lot of clarity. You know, you're going to wake up, you have this epiphany, you know what you need to do and how you need to do it. And you're coming out of, out of this element of worry. See, some of you are a bit worried about this meeting. You're worried because you might have a bit of a juggling act. You have two strategies, two ways you can possibly handle this meeting. You can either go with what they're saying or you can come up with something totally different and you're a bit worried about, okay, which way am I going to go? I feel like after this meeting, there's a very important transaction that you may be receiving. Ooh, in your bosom. Yeah, it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Double confirmation, two ten of cups coming through. So this meeting is going to give you a lot of happiness, a lot of stability, a lot of domestic harmony. It's going to come in on the heels of that meeting. And a new business, possibly. Like I said, you're talking to captains of industry, getting this new business coming up for you. If you were asking a question, should I start this new business with these people? The answer is yes. I've got two aces. That's a yes. Yeah, so you definitely got new beginnings with these captains of industry, important transactions coming in, a lot of happiness as well. For some of you, I see, yeah, you, you're now gonna you're gonna win the situation. You're coming out of a situation where there's a lot of conflict and there's definitely a lot of a lot of change on the cards. You might start seeing a lot of the number five five around you. That's an angel number telling you that change is afoot. A lot of people think it's a bad number, but it isn't. You know, spirit says that you're ready for this change, and you can't get something new if you keep doing the same thing you've always been doing. Now, can you? You have to do new things. You have to do different things so that different effects can come into the sphere of your life. That's what I feel. Tell me more. Tell me more about this meeting. I may have said this earlier. You need to take time to sleep and rest before that happens. Then there'll be a lot more peace coming in. I see a peace and a truce coming in. So for some of you, I feel as if you're going in as an arbitrator for someone we had promised to fulfill some contract on some level, and then they were not able to fully. And then you've gone in as an immediate saying, you know, I understand that my client has reneged on the obligations, but I assure you, um, this is because of an act of God, circumstances beyond their control. But as soon as more stability appears on the, on the cards, my client will be happy to fulfill their obligation, and they'll need um, eight more weeks to be able to get this thing unrolled and stuff like that. I feel as if that you uh, as if you need yeah that quiet time for solitude and meditation before you go in for these meetings, so you can have a lot of clarity about how you need to move forward and in which direction you're going to move forward in. You're going to have a decision, like I said earlier, between two things. Perhaps you're you're juggling two strategies or two proposals. Okay, fine. 
The appointment has been set, but there are two proposals you could possibly go in with, and they're both good. It looks like one has got good socioeconomic benefits, and the other one's just straight hustle, straight opportunity, and you're going to need to choose one of them. Perhaps you might need to prioritize, like, okay, I'm going to do this first. When that is done, I'm going to do the next stage of things, and that's going to be very helpful for you. Tell me more about the journey coming up for my dear Taurus. For some of you, it's a physical journey, like I said earlier. For some of you, it's a spiritual journey. Tell me more. What does my dear Taurus need to know? What is the journey energy? What is the energy of the journey for Taurus? What is this energy of the journey for my dear Taurus? What is the energy of the journey? What does Taurus need to know? Why has the chariot come out for my Taurus? What do they need to know? What does Taurus need to know about the journey? What does Taurus need to know about the journey? Yeah, there's a favorable turn of events in your life and world travel possibly for some of you. Uh, I'm being told distributorship for someone. Um... Yeah, it's going to make you very happy. It's going to make your home a very happy place. You know, these new beginnings, these new things are happening. You're, you're striking out so that you can provide your family with a better quality of life, a higher standard of life. And your family is going to be very, very happy with your efforts. You need to continue to listen to your intuition. For someone in particular, I feel that you're dealing with some sort of unrequited love while you're trying to do your work. You love someone who doesn't love you back or they love you and you don't love them back. Hmm. For a handful of you, I feel that you're dealing with an energy of a tyrannical mother, a very controlling mother figure. It could be a mother or an older sister or an aunt, a grandma, a female member of the family who's very, very tyrannical and controlling. Things have to be done her way or else you're a rebel. <laughs> Tell me more. I feel that you're being employed by someone that you, where you've always wanted to work or it's a partnership with someone that you've always wanted to partner with and it's a mutual attraction and it's a dream come true. It's a wish fulfillment for you. You've always wanted this for yourself and you know what? God is in it. God is intervening. There's going to be a favorable turn of events in your life because God is in it. Someone's coming in with a proposal and they're saying, I need to see you in person. It could be in two directions. There's that duality that's coming up uh, consistently through this uh, extended part of the reading. So, excuse me, <clears throat> there could be two people who are wanting to come and see you, considering things that will put you in the driver's seat of your life. <clears throat> excuse me. Things that will put you in the driver's side of, of your life. You see the woman holding a coin. I feel that, I feel strongly that you're dealing with an earth sign, and anything relating to the earth and finances and threes and the things in the 3D, two people are wanting to come and see you to make peace with you. So perhaps it's been in two areas, two fronts, where peace is needed. I see that coming in. And I see an improvement in your circumstances in two areas of your life. There's that play on the number two, that duality. Come on, you could be a Gemini with all this duality, Taurus. <laughs> Tell me more. Okay. Nah, I'm not saying that. What does Taurus need to know? What, okay, what is coming towards Taurus in the month of December and beyond? Or rather, whenever you watch this reading, what is coming towards Taurus? What is coming towards Taurus? What is coming towards Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know? Ooh, quite a bit. Yeah, you're moving to calmer waters. And the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor. There are a lot of cycles closing out, new ones beginning. There's a golden opportunity, but you need to be in the right frame of mind in order to take advantage of it. You need that quiet time, Taurus. You're definitely moving to quieter waters, uh, to calmer waters in your life, and definitely getting on top of your coin. Yeah, you, you need this quiet time. I love this strategy, the hermit. I call this attack and retreat. 
Attack means you're in your social circles, in your life, doing you. Retreat is not surrender by any means. It's going to your cave, looking at your wounds, bandaging them, and planning how you're going to move forward in the future and gathering all of your inner strength and spiritual strength, finding your true self and coming out and actualizing that self that you've discovered. So going into self, listening to yourself, raising your standards, expecting miracles. You know, there are times when I'm... Um, gravitating towards a miracle in my life. I just shut off anything that's negative and keep myself focused on believing on my miracle because if you're believing in miracles and someone's coming, miracles will never happen. That has never happened to anyone. You don't need to be doing that. Nata, 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 nata. No, they start distracting you from what you're believing in. So, you know, just make sure you're away from any sort of toxic company, especially when you're believing in, in a miracle because I see something's about to turn around for you, my dear Taurus. You've, you've put in the work. You're persistent and consistent. Your consistency is paying off rewards for you. Yeah, you can be called into the palace, so to speak. <laughs> Tell me more. I see someone going to visit someone. I'm being told it's like in a manner. This house seems to be in, I don't know if I should call it the countryside. or It's not like in a built-up cosmopolitan city where you're seeing streets and cafes all around. It's like a, like a suburban kind of an area. And I see you sitting at the edge of your seat. You know, you're so nervous. You can't even lean back. Even if you're told, no, at ease, soldiers, sit back. You're sitting at the edge of your seat. And like, sir, thank you, sir. Thank you so much for seeing me. I've got so much to say. Uh, and you're sweating and all of that. And, and this guy's like, no, just relax, man. I was here a couple of years ago. So talk to me. Give me your proposal. What would you like us to do? How are we going to run this? And <laughs> you need to take that quiet time so that you can have more assurance as you're moving forward with that meeting. It will go very well for you. You're walking through the doors of value, baby. Things are going to work out for you. There's going to be a dramatic change in your life that other people are going to be wanting to spy on or being sneaky about. You have dramatically, the way you view things, you're taking action towards the things that make you happy. You're stepping into your power. You've raised your standards. And there's a dramatic change. For me, when the high priestess comes through, there's a dramatic, beautifully good change in your life. Now, with this change coming in, there's a positive, this heralds an important change in your outlook that's going to herald so many benefits in its wake. You're thinking positive, being on a positive vibration, believing in your miracles, holding on to that miracle-making kind of energy of having faith and gratitude, and your life turns around dramatically. I, I spoke about cycles closing and the wheel of fortune coming in for you. You're going to rise up like a rocket. It's going to be so dramatically big that your enemies are going to want to find out what it is. People are going to be trying to spy and say, oh, what did he do? What did she do? You know, her life just turned around all of a sudden. Oh, you'd never know the way she dresses at times. I'm sure she's doing some funny stuff. You know what I mean? And they're talking about you like, in that way, like, oh, she, he's doing business, you know, with a little quotation marks or like, you know, apparently it's business, but I'm sure it's something dirty and dark, dark that we can all look down on. It is not that you're putting in the hard work. You're a Taurus and you don't give up easily. <laughs> oh, Taurus, let's see what's going to happen with these spies. No, this spy energy has come out for quite a number of star signs. I think with the whole lockdown globally, people have got too much time on their hands and frankly, without places to go to to see new information, they're now spying on whatever's available for them. <laughs> They're making your life their entertainment. Mm. I borrowed that quote from an icon somewhere. Third time this confirmation has come through this, a favorable turn of events in your life. Your life is turning around so much. God is smiling on your life so much that your enemies want to know what exactly has caused this. They want to know how you're doing this. What is your magic? What is your superpower that makes you do this? But you, you, yeah, yeah. Here you're coming out again in your energy. You are giving people solid advice about how to make money. Perhaps you're a financial advisor of sorts. And in, for someone else, I feel that you're getting advice from someone who knows things that other people don't know. There's that person who's going to tell you, you know what, financial trends past the global events are likely to go in this way for four months. And then in the fifth month, they're likely to, you're likely to see these turns around as industries reopen. And so you need to position yourself in this way so that when that curve starts going up again, you can take advantage of these things, such and such things, you know, like um, 
Okay, I heard foreclosures again. I heard this from another star saying, like, uh, taking advantage of foreclosures, property could be the best thing for you to do. You need to do that, do that, do that, or helping people who are going through foreclosures, providing them with this service, or uh, I don't know what it is, but you know what I'm talking about. There's some advice coming in for you, and you need to follow that because it will lead you to profitability. Let me see what will lead me out at the bottom of the deck for my dear patrons. Patron... Thank you so much for believing in me. You make it possible for me to be able to sit and deliver these messages for you. With the money that you pledge to me on a monthly, I'm able to take care of my living expenses, make plans to develop my set, and make it even more exciting and get different equipment to enhance the experience of the readings that I give to you because this is what I love doing and I, every successful artist or creative needs to have a Patreon who helps them to reach the next level and you're red. Kudos to you and I wish you so much blessing and, and miracles in your life for what you're doing. You're helping me to send the message across to so many people who need this message at the right time. Thank you. You're a blessing to me. You're a blessing to the world, and may blessings come sevenfold back to you, patron. At the bottom of the deck, oh, I'm not saying that. Oh, spirits, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Give me another message for them. Okay. Look inside yourself. Look inside yourself. Take that quiet time, and everything will be revealed. At the bottom of this deck, there's a wish fulfillment, a dream come true. Do you believe in miracles? I do, because I've seen quite a few. And I'm seeing quite a few more miracles coming through every day. Ooh, new love for someone. Someone's got a new love coming in for them. For someone else, it's a baby, a pure, undiluted love. For someone else, it's a brand new love that feels psychic, that feels like it's come from the, on the wings of heaven. Patrons, Thank you very much, my soul family. You were intuitively drawn to me, and as I have been drawn to you and your energy as well. Perhaps we traveled together in a past life. Who knows? But I'm so grateful to have met you again on this journey. Until the next reading, I wish you love. I wish you light. Happy holidays. Take care of yourself and your loved ones. Take time for self-care. You can't fill anyone else's cup if your own cup is empty. So make sure you do that, do all those happy things and take time to play. Love you lots. Love and light.